Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of October. Okay, you're gonna be a lot of you are gonna be watching this in September. That's for October. So if you watch it in September, I would urge you to watch it again in October because there's just so many people that don't get it. Okay. This reading's for October. Let's see what we got. I'm going to start right here. What do we have for Aries? For October. Potential. You have a lot of potential. I do see a volcano. It appears, I don't know if that's a cloud or if there's some sort of eruption or what. I mean, there's some sort of smoke coming out of that mountain. does look like there's a face almost. If you were to look a little bit closer, it looks as though there's somebody looking down. You see? Coming in from the stars. Okay, from the universe. Okay, there's universal guidance here as far as I'm concerned. I don't care what that says. I know that you have potential this month, but what I see in this card that the you I know that you are being guided from somebody from above. There is somebody that is above, okay? I know that there is. I see a face. I do. I don't know if you see it, but I see it. There's a face up there. There's some sort of help arriving as well. There's guidance here. There's some sort of divine guidance. Um, <laughs> anyhow, this planet is always getting in the way. I'm going to uh, read that, what, what she has to say from, from the book, just because I feel like it. Volcano at rest. Volcanoes erupt in places where the, earth, where the earth's plates meet and where there are cracks through which the lava emerges, either explosively or by flowing more slowly down a cinder cone. Even when a volcano is at rest, there is, also, there is always the possibility of a huge eruption. There is the potential of great power. There are very few things on this planet more commanding than an erupting volcano. The personality of a volcano is one of a wild, unpredictable, and formidable energy. This card appears when you are ready to activate your potential and step into your strength. This is the time to activate those gifts that you have had on the back burner in your life. You have incredible, untapped potential. So, things could erupt at any time. What do we got? What do we got for Aries for October? It's time for you to go with the flow. Whether it's a disruption and it happens boom or it comes easy, go with the flow. Don't try to change it. So what do we have for Aries? Ace of Cups. That is fantastic. So the Ace of Cups, as you know what the Ace of Cups is, a new start in love. This is that's extreme happiness. Look at it. Everybody's happy. That is that's a win. Okay, that is love. That is a 
that is it. That's the win. You win. This is extreme happiness. This is also celebrating. I think you're going to be celebrating with other people this month. You're going to be feeling very, very loved. You're going to you're going to be on high. I think that you are. I think that you're going to be you're going to be elated this month. I, I do. Oh, look at that. Just fell right down. Okay, let's get some of these. What do we got? A couple for Aries, please. What do we have for Aries? Extreme happiness. You're going to be really happy with an outcome. You may, it may be a little scary, but I think you're going to be happy. There it is. Oh. I guess I'm not going to take all these. I'm going to take the one that fell on the floor, though. We got one, two, three. So there is one on the floor. Oh, damn it. Mm. Teardrops. Great personal sorrow. So you are going to be having some teardrops. I mean, that one fell on the floor. Upright. So when I looked down, I saw it just like this. So you, it's like you're looking down. You may be, um, well, I don't know if you're looking down, but um, great personal story. I was looking down, um, and I saw these. I saw teardrops. So you may, I don't know. There's something about teardrops here. Somebody's gonna be crying. fire strong emotion passionate love or hate and this is it i do feel like it's going to be very emotional ear good news owl good advice from a wise person so you are going to be getting some advice from a wise person this is somebody that is very intuitive now owls are a symbol of death they are a symbol of change so you are going to be going through a change, all right? And when and, and death could be it's not it doesn't have to be a physical death. It's the it's the death of the old you. It's the, it's the end of something in your life, okay? And now you're able to start fresh. You're able to start anew. This is actually the beginning of a new life. It really is. It really is. So you are going to be getting some good news, but it's also, you're also, it's, I mean, you think about it. There's a whole month here. Because we got a whole month we're talking about. So, yeah, you're going to get some good news, but there's also going to be some great personal sorrow here. You know, you're, you're going to win. Some, but usually, you know, there's, you win some, you lose some. Right? Usually, sometimes when you win, you know, other people get upset. You know, there's, there's all kinds of different scenarios. So, um... There's something going on here. You may lose some friends or lose some family or, you know, and I'm not saying in a uh, forever kind of way, but, you know, sometimes when you are happy, other people get jealous or whatever the case is, or they get upset or whatever the case is. You know, it's just a reality. That is a reality. Um, anyhow, um, things are going to change, and I think it's going to change very suddenly. Because when you think about a volcano, you never know when it's going to erupt. So what do we have for Aries? Now, some of you may be dealing with a cancer. Because, I don't know why I wanted to say cancer. I was just going to say cancer. And I'm not even close to doing cancer's readings. So I don't know where that came from. I don't know if you're, you know, how cancer plays a part. But keep that in mind. So what do we have for Aries? There it is. Ooh, temperance. This is change. This is change. This comes after the death card. So when you get temperance, it, it means that something has ended. Okay? And now it's time to manage your feelings. Be patient as you heal. Okay? This is a card of acceptance and going with the flow. 
So you are really going to need to go with the flow after, remember, and I said that's a symbol, devil, the owl is a symbol of death. This comes after the death card. So there is something that is ending for you, and you're going to need to accept it. It's not going to be easy. I know that it's not going to be easy because we have this great personal sorrow here. Okay? But endings lead to new beginnings. So this is a card of change. The self-discipline you are going to need to change. Uh, this is renewal after a death. Okay? So this is this the temperance represents the journey. Okay? Um, it's the journey of life. Now you have to stay true. You have to stay true to yourself. Allow and accept change. You may have to blend, okay? You may have to blend and make some compromises to create harmony with whoever these people are. You're definitely dealing with other people. And this is about a lesson. So I feel like you have learned some sort of lesson that may have caused your evolution, have caused this change within you. Um... You're going to need time to heal because this is a card of healing, okay? So there's something going on here. You're going through a major change. This is about moderation. You make sure that you uh, don't go overboard. You're, you know, you, there's, there's a need to be grounded, but there's also a need to be fluid. So you need to be able to balance. You need to be able to balance your emotions. You need to be able to balance your uh, groundedness, per se. You know, you got to be able to be right in the middle. You got to be able to um, adjust. Flexible. Be flexible. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Now, Knight of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is irresponsible, unfaithful, um, greedy, inflexible. Interesting. The Knight of Pentacles is in reverse is somebody that's inflexible. I just got done saying you need to be flexible. This is this is um, jealous. You got somebody here that is jealous of you. I know that you do. Hmm. Six of Pentacles. What I I feel like somebody's after your money, and I I think I've said that before. I was I was before I didn't even see this one when I was thinking it. This is about balance as well, and we got money here. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a woman that is after your money. Money hungry, greedy, nasty individual. By the looks, and you may see that. You may see it and you may be in shock. We have a Queen of Pentacles in reverse that is very greedy, jealous, selfish. You are dealing with a selfish individual here. I don't know who this, but I don't think it's you. I think it's a it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a Cancer. It could be a Sagittarius. I feel like you are... It's almost like you're going to see something. You're going to be see. You are. I feel like you're going to see something. And I feel that that's where the personal sorrow comes from. And on one hand, you're going to be extremely happy. But on the other side, on the other hand, you're going you're gonna to see something that makes you cry. I think it's going to really break your heart. You got somebody here that is very, very, very selfish. Torn. Torn between two. You may have some sort of divided loyalty between you, between two people. I feel as though somebody was wearing a mask. They were avoiding the truth. They were in some sort of denial. They didn't see. They didn't. They totally didn't see. But I feel like you are going to see. There's been some sort of uh, denial here. Denial of the truth. We got these two twos. Okay. There's been, there's been some sort of 
restrictions here. There's been fear of the unknown, you know, staying in a safety zone, but there's going to be a sudden change. There is, this is a sudden, this is a change. This is somebody getting what they deserve. This is looking for love, expressing love. needing to express love. Now this is staying put. Somebody has been wasting time staying put, not seeing something, avoiding, protecting themselves. This is like a self-protection tactic. Too fearful, too fearful of change. Somebody's been having a hard time making a decision because they were torn torn in two directions but now I feel like now it's like damn I want balance in my life you need to balance okay we, we got okay balance 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 there's 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 balance is needed okay you need to be able to balance out the two whatever the two are you're not able to balance and you need to figure out a way to balance and I feel like it's going to be very emotional it is going to be emotional um, with this Knight of Cups, I feel like um, there's an opportunity for relationship growth. There's an opportunity for happiness here, but somebody has to express their feelings. I think it's there's, it's going to be an intense time. Three of Pentacles reversed. That's lack of togetherness, lack of working together, lack of teamwork, lack of respect. You are dealing with somebody. I know you've got somebody here that doesn't respect you. There's, it's, it's definite. It's definite. It is. This person is very shallow, very superficial, very materialistic. Um, and maybe you've not been cho been choosing not to see it. It feels like you have been choosing not to see it. You've been in denial about this person. Whoever this person is, they, they can't, it's almost like they can't make it on their own. They need your money or there's something like that. And if you don't have any money and I don't, you know, then this reading isn't for you. This could go vice versa. This could go vice versa. You could be the one with no money and you're dealing with somebody that, uh, has been helping you out and they're going to stop helping you. Okay, I'm just saying. I mean, something is going to come to a stop. Okay, with that Knight of Pentacles reverse. That's that's a that's a stop. Stop giving away. Stop giving money. Something like that. Somebody may stop. Stop giving. You know, it's not about the money, it's about love. But anyhow, Let's get back on track here. Um, and it is a need to get back on track because twos are about getting your life back on track, taking the next step. Balance is needed in a partnership. I feel as though uh, there's definite imbalance here. There's a need to... Uh, Express your feelings. You need to express your feelings. Uh, that Six of Pentacles is about giving. Giving a gift. I feel like you're very... I feel like it's you too. But it could go vice versa. Somebody's been given a lot. They've been giving a lot. And it feels the other person's been taking. And, and, and it feels like there's 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 a need to... Uh, well, balance. It should be equal. There should be equal give and take, not one-sided. You know what I mean? It feels like there's been a lot of one-sidedness here, and there needs to be equal give and take. Whoever this person is is selfish and jealous and doesn't have a lot. This it's, it's a sponger. You're dealing with a sponger. This this anyway. You are could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius. Cancer. Did I say Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? I did. Anyhow, the Three of Pentacles reversed. You're dealing with somebody that you're not 
on the same page with. This person probably lacks respect for you. Anyhow, you dab, I knew you had somebody jealous and I feel like you've been pretending that everything is okay. Everything is not okay. Two of Swords. There's been a delay. We have delays here. There's been a delay in taking any action because of anxiety, perhaps. Unprepared. Totally no vision. Totally unprepared. Ah, oh, wasted time. What? I didn't see. You didn't see. You didn't. Because your eyes were freaking closed. Yes, sir. You weren't seeing. You were choosing not to see. Because twos are choices. You were choosing not to see. You were. You were, cho you were choosing not to see somebody's truth. You were. But I think this month you're going to see. Something is going to, is going to be some sort of eruption. Okay? Just being honest with you. That's what I see. And I feel like you are going, it's going to change your perception. That's what I feel like is going to happen. I feel what you're going to see something, it's going to change your perception. And I honestly feel like it's going to shock you. Because I, I feel like this is almost like a tower, a volcano, like a freaking tower to me. You know? So I feel like it is. I feel like it's a shock. I think that you are going to see something that you missed. And I think that it is absolutely going to shock you about a person that used you for money. And they may and may, they may have used you years ago. I don't know. I think it's right now, though. Um, I think you're going to see something. Um... You're also going to be receiving an offer of love, just so you know. You're going to be receiving love, okay, in some way. Compassion, tender, loving care, whatever. And, and, and I think that it's been a long time coming, okay? If you're looking for a relationship, there's a good chance you may somebody may come in that you've been waiting for. Now is the time. There could be a reconciliation here, okay, for some of you. There could be a reconciliation with somebody, Okay, um, after something ends with this shallow individual that you've been dealing with, you've got somebody here that is very, I don't know, it feels like they're lazy. It feels like they're lazy. It feels like they don't really contribute. They want what you can give them, but they don't have anything to give you. But if you have a chance for a reconciliation with somebody else that you may have neglected in the past or you didn't see in the past or something like that. That's what it looks like to me, that you, you missed an opportunity with somebody in the past because of your, because of whoever this other sponger was. Um... You are going to get an opportunity with somebody that can bring you balance. It's somebody that you deserve to be with. But you have to decide. And this is a decision. It really is. We have a decision here to focus on the future. You need to open your eyes. You need to unblock your heart. You need to... Uh, stop protecting yourself. You need to communicate. You need to um, open up. You need to open up. But you know, there is definitely an opportunity for love here that could make you extremely happy. But you need to communicate. You need to open up. So anyway, Aries, I feel like things have been delayed because you've been blocking. You've been blocking. This is a block. You have been blocking a uh, new beginning. Not seeing. 
the potential. But I do feel like this month that you are going to see something. And I think it's going to and it's going to make you sad that you wasted all this time. Good luck.